evening. It's divine to be oh here God, with you. Oh. So I'm known as Grandma Pam. And today, I was told that I couldn't have my art in this lovely coffee shop because I was Grandma Pam. And I was so pleased because I teach the Course of Miracles and I know all things, regardless of how they look, are working for the good. So I didn't allow myself to get upset and all of that. And now I'm going to be in flourish and nourish. Sure. Yes, I told you about So anyway, I just <laughs> want to tell you, life is just a bowl of cherries. Don't take it serious. It's much too mysterious. You work, you sweat, and you worry so. But you can't take your dough when you go, go, go. So keep repeating. It's the berries. It's the sweetest life you know. Ba 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 ba. So let's talk about hemp. Being a hemp activist is the most fun thing. I'm a spiritual reverend, so I go to the churches and share with them what the Bible really tells us. I often get thrown out. And it is kind of funny. Some people get very, very upset. One time I went to this convent right there in New York on the water. And there were all these nuns and I brought two hemp books and passed them around and all that shared. And everybody was very quiet. And then Sister Superior came in <laughs> and she said, who let her in? <laughs> and I said, God. And she said, you're leaving. <laughs> so I've had a number of those experiences, but they're really kind of fun. If you go and know that however they take it, I have done my job. So there was, I was living in this small town upstate New York, and there was a fundamentalist Christian church, and every day I would bring them another pamphlet or something on hemp. And this one night, they were having a talk on the Constitution. So Love and I go and sit ourselves right in the front row, and they're talking, and I said, well, could we now talk about hemp? And the minister jumped up and said, not in church! <laughs> like he was so upset. You know? And I said, but look here in the Bible. And he just really lost it. And he said, you're the weirdest, craziest old lady I have ever met. <laughs> and Spirit, I turned around and said, I'm so happy that you notice. <laughs> and the poor guy had to laugh. The next day I went to a wedding and he happened to be sitting right next to me. I thought, <laughs> <laughs> I But I really do think that to make this change in the world, we really have to start talking about this <coughs> and really looking at how fabulous our world will be when hemp is legal for paper and fuel and food. We really need the fuel, the food. Hemp seed has this omega-3 and 6 that feeds the brain and it grows everywhere without any pesticides and so forth. So if you do believe in a higher power, start talking about hemp. So I never really was much of a poet, but I wrote this piece, and my friend Love sings it. I'm not a singer, but I'd like to share with you, and it goes. Let us create today the world we want, the world that honors Mother Earth, truth and justice for all. Hemp is legal. Hemp is regal. Hemp for feeling and hemp for healing. Huh. Peaceful clouds dance in the sky and the birds rejoice in loving song. My beloved seeds are free. Hemp is legal, hemp is regal. Hemp for healing and hemp for feeling. And now, hemp is honored in our churches, schools, and businesses. And we are all very grateful that this fabulous truth is coming forth. And I believe here in Asheville that you're going to see before 2012, the truth is coming out. 
I met this amazing woman who told me that she was from the Galactic Federation and that we're going to have some kind of a, like a little bit of an intervention to let us know that this change is coming about. So we can all rejoice. But the major thing that we must remember is that our thoughts and words really do create our reality. So if you say a few times a day, hemp is legal under God's law, you're helping to bring this forth. Don't waste your time talking about they don't want to do it and they putting this guilt out because we create every word we say. So let's speak what we want and bring along what we want. We want hemp for everyone. Everyone has the right to grow hemp in their garden. Why not? It's a gift from God. And just share that with everybody you meet and things will change. And be happy because to bring about something you must keep your vibration up. Don't spend time disliking or being angry or it's a gift to be here. Do your share. Speak the truth. If you believe in hemp, then speak about it to everyone and things will change. Thank you.